The open source programming language, Python, has become the de facto standard for data scientists over the past few decades. And Jupyter Notebooks are a popular method of coding and visualizing in Python. Interoperability with other programming languages and software packages has always been an important component of eViews, and eViews has had the ability to work with Python for a long time. Using the xopen command, you can run Python code from within eViews. And with the pyviews package, you can call eViews routines from within Python. Similar tools exist for other programming languages, such as R and MATLAB. We've extended this line of thinking in eViews 13 by adding eViews kernel support to Jupyter. Jupyter is a web browser-based interface to programming languages. The addition of eViews kernel support means you can use Jupyter to run and visualize eViews commands and data. This ability is independent of our interoperability with Python and allows eViews to be run as a standalone application within Jupyter. In this video, we'll demonstrate some of the uses of Jupyter with eViews. To begin, we need to publish the eViews kernel to Jupyter. To do so, we open eViews, click on Options, General Options, and then select External Program Interface, and push the Publish Jupyter Kernel button. This needs to be done just once, and we can close eViews down. This needs to be done just once, and we can close eViews down after publishing. Now we can open Jupyter and start a new eViews 13 notebook. The notebook is a collection of cells. These cells can contain code, output from code, or markdown. We'll start by entering a simple eViews command to open a work file. We can click the Run button to tell the eViews kernel to execute the command. Jupyter displays some information about the work file we opened. We can display the contents of the eViews work file using the wfdir command. This time we'll use Shift Enter to execute the command rather than pressing the Run button as it's a little faster. This time we'll use Shift Enter to execute the command rather than pressing the Run button as it's a little more convenient. In the next cell, we'll add a command to display a line graph of the series GDP. Jupyter will natively display the eViews graph. We can estimate an equation using standard eViews estimation commands. Any standard eViews programming syntax can be used. Here we use a for loop to loop through the three equations in the work file and display the residual graph of each of those equations. We can also run programs that have previously been created in eViews using the standard eViews run command. Inserting cells and changing their format to markdown allows us to annotate and add text to our notebook. Here we'll add a title, and use some LaTeX syntax to describe an equation. We can save our notebook for future use, or to send it to colleagues, or to open in other applications. Jupyter also allows us to download the notebook in different formats. For example, we can create a HTML page with the output, or a PDF. We can also open our Jupyter Notebook in other applications that support notebooks, such as Visual Studio Code. Note that the notebook contains both the input and the output we created, but we can enable the eViews kernel inside Visual Studio Code as well, and then run or execute lines of code within. 
and then rerun the cells of code to re-execute the lines within.